Looking for a luxury home that's move-in ready in one of the top rated cities in America? Welcome to Frisco, Texas, voted one of the best places to live and raise a family. We're Andy and Patrice, your go-to real estate team for new construction. And today we're touring a brand new masterpiece that has it all. Jaw-dropping vaulted ceilings, a modern kitchen designed for a chef, and wait until you see the backyard with those Western slider doors. Stick around because the hidden details in this home are worth the wait. Trust us, you don't want to miss this one. All right, Andy, let's go check this one out. All right, this thing is five bedrooms, four baths, four full baths, and just over 4,000 square feet. Nice. Now as you step on in, right to your right is a dining room. Mm -hmm. Now, a nice. couple of things that I like about this. I like the lower ceiling. It's still a high ceiling, but it's lower, meaning that it's not the two-story variety. Um, not sure that you need a TV right here. You could, could this be for art? Like it could be know? an art light, yeah, Okay. absolutely. So, you know, whatever. Um, this is interesting. You don't see this. I don't know if I've ever seen this, to be honest. I don't. So this is a three-car split garage. So you got two-car garage on that side and one-car garage right here. And this is the mud area. Right off the dining area, but it's got its own little room so you can close that off and hide all your junk, which is really nice. That is nice. It's a lot more practical than normal. This is your single-car garage. Okay. Um, now, on the other side, of this house is a wide open kind of, I don't know, foyer type thing, but you've got your two car garage here, followed by your utility room with a sink. And like we mentioned, this is five bedrooms. So you've got two downstairs, you got your primary, and then I would consider this a guest room and I'll tell you in a minute why but that would be the full bath that covers downstairs in your guest room. It's a nice size shower for a guest. Pretty, nice size shower. Pretty tile. You notice the eight foot doors as you come on through. Let me point those out, there you go. Very nice, I like the eight foot. Yeah, which is really nice. Decent sized room. You've got your bench here, that um, window seat that you can sit down. But the closet is just your kind of standard closet, perfect for a guest. Or if we're gonna age ourselves, our generation, that was pretty much. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> what we grew up with. I think that was, that's bigger than the closet I had. Now, if you come on through, I gotta point out the bar area. Now, Teresa and I have been known to get our drink on every once in a while. That doesn't open. Oh, mm -hmm. it does not open. But you do have all these drawers. All very nice. You do have a sink. I could picture all of our... Pretty glasses. And pretty glasses yeah. and, and whatnot. I would put like a fridge over here. What do you think? Yes, definitely a fridge. I do like this. Like a wine this, fridge or something? This backsplash is really pretty, but you know I like the chevron pattern. Mm-hmm. And then you've got an area for a Christmas tree. Yep. Would not be huge because you won't want to block everything, but it's got its own outlet, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then the countertop continues right through into the kitchen. You've got an island with a waterfall edge, which is really nice. I do love this quartz that they've got on this. It's timeless. It's not gonna, go out of style or anything like that. It's white with just a slight flex of gray. You've got a pot feeler that is pretty high. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I pointed that out from the beginning. I think that's really weird because you're gonna turn that on and it's gonna splash. Okay. So you're gonna have to either pick up your pot a little bit or something. Yeah, so you got a six burner. You've got all your glass. This is, a, you know, what I would prefer I prefer this to be just your standard doors and then continue it up the there with those with the smaller the glass doors. Yeah. Personally, I mean, this is like, no one wants to see your bowls, right? Yeah, I mean, you have to be really organized. Yeah. So. So anyway, that is what it is. But you've got your, um, 
you know, your trash can and all that stuff. Yeah, that's, that's nice. And then how big is that snack closet? Snack closet is average, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah, not huge. But for a family of five, I would, you know, you'd probably prefer it to be a little bit bigger. Um, KitchenAid appliances, you got your double stove and your microwave. You got your double oven and microwave? I mean, double <laughs> oven, what did I say, stove? <laughs> yeah. That'd be yeah, not quite, too. not quite a stove. <laughs> okay, one of the things I love about this house is all the windows. Yeah, you've got all these windows up on top. You got six windows just in this little breakfast area. You've got three windows right here in the kitchen, followed by six big picture windows right here, and a glass door. I mean, just a ton of natural light. You can totally picture a round table right here. Uh, for just those casual dining and then steps right on through into this family area now this family area as you step on in this is not the biggest space no for a four thousand square foot house i would expect bigger i don't know it's going to be hard to decorate this part this space yeah we'll, we'll see if we can uh, do some of our staging mm -hmm. and see what that kind of looks like but another thing is that I hate when they do this, mm -hmm. where they stop it real quick. They don't have a big mantle here or anything. Uh, you they could have carried it all the way up. Yeah, you have a lot of space to put with these big vaulted ceilings in here. And this is narrow enough, too small of a, of a wall to kind of do your built-ins around it. I mean, maybe you could. Um, I would have to see, but I don't know. I think they could have done that a little bit better. Let's come on in through, and this is the primary. So as we step on through, again, they do a nice job with the windows. You got four good sized windows. You got a bench seat, that's big. This could definitely fit a king size room and have, or king size bed and have your side tables. And then Patrice's very favorite thing in all of these modern bathrooms are walking in and being on display. <laughs> yeah, I don't love that. You don't love that? But I don't mind this one as much. Like there's something about this one that at least, I don't know, you feel like you might be a little more hidden, but. Okay. But it does feel really tight in here with this bathtub where the location is, because you, I mean, like right now, around here is narrow. I do like the fact that it's pushed up all the way, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to get back there and clean it. Yeah. Um, but you're right, like if you put like a bench here for your makeup or whatnot. Stool, yeah. Whatever. I do like all the mirrors. That's nice to have three mirrors right there. You've got and plenty of counter space. A ton of counter space, so I do But yeah, that. you're right. I mean, it's not, to give you an idea, Definitely not like wheelchair friendly or anything. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely not. Um, and then I guess this would be my spot, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's see here. And then it's got another bench. They like their benches. They like their them. benches. But look at the size of this window. This thing is huge. You would need window coverings. Yeah. You, you're. Well, your you're on display too. Your neighbors are gonna get a show. Yeah. That's quite something. All right, so here is the primary closet. I mean, it's fine. You know what? It's pretty dark in here. Yeah. I don't think that they could put a couple more lights. Yes, they definitely can. So, mm -hmm. but then I like this because you can put all your luggage and stuff back here that you don't That is to. nice, yes. Yeah. So the dog doesn't panic every time you take the luggage out of the garage like ours does. <laughs> it's still every panic. Time every time he knows that we're going on a trip. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Okay. All right, we're at the top of the stairs. I'm gonna go straight, how about that? Let's go. All Let's right. Let's do it. I like the vaulted area. I like how it's rounded here. It just has some character and overlooks your downstairs. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And then you've got a bathroom. With a nice little window in there, which is nice to have. Yeah. Some light coming in is awful nice. 
I, I know that it's designed that way, but it seems like you'd want the lights pointing down. You think? Yeah. Well, let's see, next to it is a linen closet, which is a nice thing to have for sure. And then we got a couple bedrooms. Then you got a couple bedrooms. Here's one, I'd say 10 by 11 or so. Yeah. Um, not overly huge, but plenty of size. But look at the closet. Closet is... Same size as one downstairs. Same size, so. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, but not big for today's standards. That's true. Again, same size closet right here. A little bit more functional room shape, yeah. I'd say. And then this one has a walk-in closet, which is nice along with that other closet. Then it's got its own sink. And then it shares. Wait, let me show everybody this walk-in closet. I like that it has a window. That's very nice. And then there's the other side. So then you come on through and this would be your game room area, your upstairs. Not only it would be your one of the kids' bathrooms as well, but it also is the accessible one for the game room, which Don't is right yourself. off of here, I know. Look at this, you gotta step down, watch your step. I'm glad you said that. I, I know, it kind of blends on, on in. <laughs> And then this could be used as a game room, media room, however you want to do it. I feel like we've seen this model before. We have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and Prosper. Yep. And so they've got two bench seats, one on either side, which mm -hmm. is cool. And then you've got, there's the front of it where the stairs are. This would be a great room. You put a big TV right there. You got the kids. You know, they can have friends over playing. I like this. Right? Yeah, close it off. They can make their own space. You don't have to have it deal with the noise, mm -hmm. which is nice. Watch your head. <laughs> and then here is that other bedroom. A little bit bigger, it seems. Only one window. Yep. And then the closet is bigger. Is it? Yeah, it's a little deeper. Well, now everybody wants to see. It is, oh yeah, it is bigger. Yeah. It has some hanging on either side, which is nice. Yep. The thing about this house too, is all the ceilings have interesting shapes to them. So here's the official game area, your traditional, where you would put your shuffleboard or your pool table, TV right here. And then you've got your, what I would do as my media room. I think I would have done it on a wall. Mm, yeah, only because now you have to put your chairs with the backs facing me. Exactly. So it kind of just aesthetically looks Yeah, I would have done it different. like right here. And because you've got a TV there, so you don't need that for your game area. And then... There's so many options. I mean, there really are a lot of options that you can do in here. I yeah, think. if you want to build this um, from the ground up, but from here, there would just be some things, and like I said, we, we could talk to them and, and get that stuff taken care of for you. Um, yes, there's definitely some things that I would say, we got to fix this, we got to change this. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, this is on a 70 by 120 uh, lot, so good size about mm -hmm. a fifth of an acre um, in the heart of Frisco, Texas, which Frisco has everything that you could possibly want. It's got grade A schools, everything that you've heard about Frisco, Texas, this place has. It's a nice boutique community, so you're not filled with all these extra kids and all this extra stuff going on. So if that is a, a appeal to you, um, this is definitely one that you should be on your list. So give us a call. Best bet is to hit that dream home form below or scan it right here and then we will take care of you. We have great relationships with all the builders all across North Texas. And until the next time, I'm Andy. And I'm Patrice. Take care.